damn it, burn! <gasps> Let's go! Hey, Professor Rickenbacker. I just finished burning. I'll, I'll be at your house in just a second. Damn it! There's no way I'm running late. Professor Rickenbacker, I am so sorry I'm late. No, you're fine. You're, you're five minutes early. Oh, I thought I was five minutes late. No, you're fine. Do you have it with you? Yeah, I have it right here in my pocket. Perfect. By the way, if I may ask, hmm? why'd you want the project today? Grades aren't due till next Friday. Really? No. Uh, uh, sorry, Fritz. Uh, uh, what is it you're turning in again? My documentary. And what was it about? The most interesting person I know. Oh, yes, that's right. Get it together, Rickenbacker. I am your only student this semester. Sorry, Fritz. Uh, do we, uh... Would you like some popcorn when we watch it? Damn it, let's just watch the documentary. Well, we'll just watch the documentary. The most intriguing person I know is Isaiah Davis, no question. Every day he is at college from 9 a.m. to 2.45 p.m. Even when he's not taking classes, he still hangs out in the library studying something eclectic. Here we are at 3 o'clock p.m. May I ask why we're outside? Yes, of course you can. We're outside because this is the embracement of nature. All right, what exactly do you do for that? Well... Wait, 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 what are you doing? I need to feel the wind against my bosom, feel the breeze with my chest to fully embrace Mother Nature for this hour. Do you understand? Do you ever feel the snow? Yes, I felt the snow. No, no, no. Do you ever feel the snow with your hands? No, I've never done any of that. Feel the snow. Just try, appreciate it, and all that it has to offer. Like this? Yes, yes. Feel it, embrace it. I'm not taking this very seriously. I say, uh, <laughs> I say, uh, come back. From 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m., Isaiah listens to music for a half hour and then writes in his journal for another half hour. He calls this the hour of motivation. You see, Fritzy, it's all about accomplishing the master plan, which I know for some people it's hard to wrap their minds around. But listen to me. I just need the right amount of money so I can go to the Uruguay River and join my people once again of the Guarani tribe and experience the spiritual catharsis I have long awaited since I was six years old. Now, when you say go back to the Uruguay River, do you mean to tell me that you've been there before? Physically, I have never been there. But it was the birthplace of my soul and spirit. You see, when I was six years old, I had the porcupine woman come to me in a dream, and she explained the prophecy and everything. And sometimes I have visions of her in my head when I'm listening to the music that's playing and I'm dancing on top of this hill. I can sometimes see her. I rarely had a clue what he was talking about during the hour of motivation. What are you drinking? Water. Cheers. Cheers. From five to six, I like to eat food. I call it the hour of dinner. See what I have here? It's an egg sandwich. Do you eat that every night? No, I like to keep a variety of healthy meals. But I want to explain to you why this one is so important. You see, I buy the omega-3 enriched eggs. Now, these contain... Uh, vitamins A, vitamins B2, vitamins B5, vitamins B12, and salmonella. <laughs> salmonella is a bacterial disease. You're right. I meant selenium. 
They also contain calcium, potassium, and vitamin E. Huh. I didn't know that. I feel I have a greater appreciation for eggs now. Oh well, yeah, you should. And I guess you could say they're pretty excellent. From 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., he hangs out with his girlfriend, Evelyn. Hey, Isaiah. I noticed you didn't ask me how my day was. When I saw you, I said, hey, how are you? That is the exact same thing as saying, hey, how was your day? They're an equivalent greeting. Yeah, but when I said I was fine, you didn't ask any further on me or my day. Look, Nadia, I'm sorry. I mean, it's no big deal. That is not my name. You know, that's the second time you called me this in the span of three days. And how come when I asked you to come over to watch Saturday morning cartoons with me, you never come over? That's because we can only hang out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You know I like to keep a schedule. Is that her name? I'm sorry, what? Is that her name? Is that her name? On Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, Isaiah hangs out with his other girlfriend, Nadia. You know what we should do sometime? Hmm. We should go to Amigos on a Friday when they have their special, and then catch the dollar show after. We can't hang out on Fridays. Why? Because. Because why? Because that's when I hang out with my other girlfriend. What the hell, Isaiah? Are you cheating on me? Yes, according to some people, they consider it cheating. But look, I like seeing you in doses, not like seeing her in doses. So it's all balanced out completely. You know, our minds are only psychologically wired to handle so much familiarity. Well, it's better than getting choked out by Evelyn. Evelyn? Is that her name? Yes, that's my other girlfriend's name. Look, allow me to explain myself, because the hour of intimacy is upon us, okay? Can I see your watch? Alright, it's in 10 minutes, so let's get this all resolved so we can get the ball rolling with that, okay? Within 10 minutes, he was able to save their relationship. They said I could stay and document the hour of intimacy, but I decided it would be best if I left. I don't know, he's a weird guy. Huh. Maybe not, I don't know. There was mumbling in the other room that night, but Nadia had already left. So I had decided to investigate if he was talking with someone or if he was sleep chatting. Yeah, I know, I miss you too. Yeah, hold on. Fritzy, what are you doing in here? Um, I was just checking to see if you were sleep talking. Yeah, I love you too, okay, bye. No, no, I was on the phone. Sorry, do you need something from me? Who are you on the phone with? Oh, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you later. It's time for the hours of slumber. So please, if you would get the hell out of my room. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Isaiah. I didn't mean to disturb you. It's okay. Good night. Good night. You know your clock is ten minutes late, right? Yes, I am fully aware. It has helped motivate me to get to my classes on time. Huh. Fascinating. Anyways, let's get back to the discussion at hand here. What I'm talking about is male birth control. I'm not talking about condoms either. I'm talking about all natural, baby. You eat a tablespoon of papaya seeds for a straight month and boom, you're infertile. You can ask Evelyn or Nadia all about it. By the way, were you talking to Evelyn or Nadia on the phone last night? Uh, what? No. Oh, watch out! Oh, shh. you ever been in an auto accident? No, I have not. How do you explain the damage on the side of your car? Easy. You mean this? Yes. Oh, well. You see, there was this complete ignoramus in one of my classes who made fun of my presentation on sword sharpening. So I, one day after class, you know, he cares about the cosmetics of his car, you know, the appearance. Frankly, I don't. So I hit his car with my car. Isn't that what an accident is? 
No, no, no. You see, I didn't do it on accident. I did it on purpose. So I consider it an auto purpose. Okay. On Saturday afternoons, Isaiah has the hour of peace pipe with his 60 year old friend Darius. So why do you call it the hour of peace pipe again? Well, you see, Fritzy, everyone wants a piece of this pipe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Intensity in order to be highly unstimulating. Whatever, okay? That's just your opinion, Darius. Just get back to your whole argument about the duck billed platypus. The duck billed platypus is a scientific taxonomical nightmare, if you will. I mean, think about it. It has webbed feet like some sort of uh, amphibian, it's got a bill, it's got a beak like a duck, and claws that produce venom. Venom, hello! It lays eggs. Somehow, scientists classify it as a mammal. Uh, how much sense does that even make? It doesn't have to make sense because it's obvious that the best animal in the whole kingdom is the pygmy marmoset. That's my favorite. Oh, you're such a pinhead. The pygmy marmoset is only your favorite animal in the whole kingdom because it's the smallest monkey in the world. That's not true. The pygmy marmoset is my favorite because it is the most unique looking animal in the entire world, in the whole kingdom, jeez. What about you? What's your favorite animal? Well, uh, I would have to go with the, the emperor penguin. The emperor penguin. Never mind, you can do better than that. It's so commercial, there's so many movies about it. There's Mr. Popper's Penguins, there's The March of the Penguins, there's uh, 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 Penguin and Son, there's, there's, there's the, every one of those stupid Madagascar movies, not even a mention, not even a mention, Tennessee Tuxedo. You can do way better than the Emperor Penguin. I liked those movies. You don't have any idea who Tennessee Tuxedo is. I'm surprised you saw Mr. Popper's Penguins. <laughs> I hated that movie. Yeah, everyone hated that movie. Oh, well, then we're all together. But that doesn't count uh, towards the Emperor Penguin. I'm just saying, it, it's not even that it's commercialized. It's a beautiful creature. I, I mean, it's fluffy. It's cold. Fluffy. Cute. Fluffy? Yeah, yes, of course. Bird. Yeah, feathers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I don't Flippers. think a penguin is really known for being fluffy. Now, maybe a baby penguin. Now, we've seen some baby penguins. Those are adorable. I'm just but, the, but but those aren't emperors. At that point, they're just like uh, counts and archdeacons. They can't possibly be an emperor yet. Well, it's a good thing we're going through the whole process. I, I'm glad we're having this discussion on why the emperor penguin just doesn't suit up to your standards. Well, because they're everywhere. They're omnipresent. Well, let's talk more about the venom. Venom! Venom! A mammal that produces venom, it secretes venom. If you get a scratch from the claw of the venom secreting claw of a mammal with a bill, You'll get venom in your system. So how much longer does this usually go for? Are we almost done? An entire hour. Great. Peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Sundays were also interesting. You know, um, that night you walked in my room, I was talking to my third girlfriend on the phone. Wait, what? You have... Three girlfriends? Damn, son! Yeah. Yeah. I'd crawl through glass for her. The other two I'd crawl through gravel for, but for her, I wholeheartedly believe that like, she's the love of my life. Like, how on earth have I not met her yet? Yeah, well, she lives in another state, so. Well, that makes sense. Yeah. Well, you remember that master plan I was telling you about whenever I do the hour of motivation? It's all fake, it's all a sham. It's just, it's written in code because I don't want anyone else to find out about it. I don't really want to go to the Uruguay River. I don't even know anything about the Guarani tribe. I never saw, well I've seen the porcupine woman, but that's a different story. Anyways, anyways, what I, what I want to say is, whenever I think about it, I'm just focusing on writing a plan to move to Alaska and live with my third girlfriend and build a new home with her and have her dad come live with us and have our own family and just get away from all this madness. You must think I'm pretty weird, don't you? 
Yeah, <laughs> Isaiah, I think you're pretty weird, but yeah, that's nothing to be ashamed of. I understand you. That's something that only Sapphire's ever said to me. Sapphire, the name of your third girlfriend? Yes. She sounds like, uh, like a real gem. Oh, come on, that was good. You learn from the best. Oh, thank you, thank you. Hey, man, let's go get some milkshakes oh, right yeah, now. Absolutely. All right, Fritzy, I want you to give me three of the most random words you can think of as fast as you can. Ready? Go. Okay. Toe. Fungus. No, 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 no. You're doing it all wrong. You gotta get you Toe and fungus are related to each other. You gotta do something that's completely random, like interstellar taco salad mongoose. See, those are three very random words that have nothing to do with each other. Interstellars, nothing to do with taco salads, nothing to do with mongoose. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. What was that plural form of mongoose that you just said? Mongoose? Yeah, I, I don't think that's right. Well, no, that's right, because you have a goose, you have more than one goose, you got, you got two, it's geese. So, you just, the thing with, the difference with mongoose, you throw a mon in front of it, you see? I don't know, I think, I think mongooses sounds correct. Whatever you do, just don't look it up on your phone, okay? So, just don't even bother, because that takes away the fun of an argument, you know what I mean? What happened to those days? Okay, fine. Let's go. After milkshakes, he took me to a hill and said he wanted to dance with me. At first, I was afraid he was starting to come on to me. Hey, Isaiah. Why are we dancing again? Listen here, Fritzy. Every Sunday, I like to do what is called the Hour of the Awesome Sound. Now, it's where we just stand on this hill here you dance to a song that's playing in your head. You know, feel the groove. And just dance to it, just vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, righteous, righteous. What if it's Come On Eileen? I'm sorry, what? Uh, Come On Eileen, that's the song that's in my head. Should, should I just dance to that? I mean, I guess you could dance to that, but I usually like to pick a song in my head. I mean, Come On Eileen's fine. It's just a, it's a little weird, but anyways. Right. Just, just go, just go, do your thing. Then after we danced, we discussed topics regarding existentialism, philosophy, ancient Roman politics, favorite milkshake flavors, and love. All in that order. It's mongoose, by the way. It's not mongoose? No, I, I looked it up on the car right over here. It's mongoose. Fair enough. I think he's evaluating my grade. Uh, I've seen him do it before when grading papers. I didn't care if I did bad. Of course I wanted an A, but I was grateful for the whole experience. B minus. Damn it.